uh, Russian poet to practice nepotism. Russian poet to practice nepotism. Oh, you've, uh, ne so nepotism, that's all about your family. Uh, so uh, hold off on screaming any answers out in the chat. No one, no one has yet, but just the rules. Don't scream out your answer in the chat. Let me be confused for about 30 seconds, which I now have, and then I'll start asking for hints. I can't think... So I'm now asking for hints. I can't think of any Russian poets. Um, and if you practice nepotism, you, you favour your family and friends. <sighs> um... No, no, I, uh, it, this, this feels like a, a cryptic definition or a double definition or something like that. I'm, I'm not seeing it. So let's take a look at one down. Family at the end, possibly, or kin. Oh, Pushkin. Push, you would push your kin, wouldn't you? Pushkin, he was Russian, probably. If you push kin, then you're probably practicing nepotism because you're... Okay, thank you very much. For, uh, hi, June. I hope you're doing well. I um, hope it's sunny where you are. Uh, or I hope you are... Enjoying whatever weather you have if you don't like sun. Hi, Dogfish. Good afternoon to you. One down. Shropshire University College Erected Domes. Shropshire University College Erectic Domes. Oh. Good afternoon, Bulls Boy. Shropshire is probably S. Because Shropshire University is probably SU. Or... S Uni College. It's probably Alexander Pushkin appears to be a Russian poet. Excellent, thank you very much, Anaka. Hi, Alchemist. Uh, not spotting this one. I feel like it spot starts S U something like that, um, and I feel like the, the definition kind of has to be domes here. I feel, but um, not sure. So, going to move on to two down. Get rid of. Outbuilding. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Get rid of outbuilding. I shall give this 15 seconds and then I shall explain. I shall sip coffee. Okay, that's your approximate time up. Oh, Bulls Boy's got it. Good. Well done, Bulls Boy. Uh, can you tell us what it is? Give it, uh, I'll, uh, everyone, everyone look at the chat, and uh, he is now going to tell you what it is, hopefully. Shed! It is correct! Shed! Uh, it's, a, it's a double definition. An outbuilding is a shed, and if you shed your skin, you get rid of it. So that's uh, two, two bonus points for Bulls Boy there. One down is reading upwards. Ooh, okay. Shropshire University College Erected Domes. I don't know my geography, so I don't know what's around Shropshire. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait for some letters in that one. Uh, three down. One observes contrary directions in Mozart's quartet. One observes contrary directions in Mozart's quartet. Hello, Sensei. Hello, uh, Catnip. Welcome back. Um, could be. I'll come back to that one down in a second. Uh, just going to try and solve three down. One observes contrary directions. Contrary directions. The directions are often N, E, W, and S, north, east, west, south. Um, in Mozart's quartet. I mean, string quartet. But... Um... Uh, what was Mozart's first name? Amadeus? Okay, but quartet kind of implies four of something. Oh my goodness, I'm not getting anywhere on this first one. Okay, so we've had lots of clues. Four. Uh, one down. So nickname for Shropshire and Wandy could be Salop. Isn't that Salop? Or is that Southampton? Um, so uh, let's have a look at the clues. Read in reverse. Uh, yes, the Shropshire name nickname reads upwards. I don't know the nickname for Shropshire. So it was Salop. Okay. S. 
whoops, S A L O P. Oh, wow. And then University College will be UC and a cupola is a dome. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Wow. Nice bit of wordplay there. Okay. Three down, Amadeus. Uh, hello, Mattel, by the way. Good afternoon. Hope you are well. Or well, good morning or wherever it is, whatever time. Uh, ten across the... Oh, ten across the... Eight across. Uh, uh, eight across. Eight and ten. Poets leaving document, one that's equivalent to a picture, it said. Poets leaving document, one that's equivalent to a picture, it's said. I mean, a picture is worth a thousand words. <clears throat> Um, uh, so probably it's going to have to be to do with words worth then. Why is it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. We've had two poets so far. This maybe there's a theme in this. I don't know. Um, it's William Wordsworth. Uh, document is a will. One is I. Uh, and then... <laughs> A thousand words, A M words worth, A M words worth, or just words worth. Um, so, oh goodness, if this is all going to be about poets, I could be in trouble here. <laughs> but anyway, it's definitely William Wordsworth. Okay, so let's take a look at four down. I'm aching, running around lake. I'm aching, running around lake. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Uh, a will is a leaving document. That's also very true. So it is a leaving document. And then a thousand words. M being a thousand in Roman numerals. It could be, it could, or it could be I am. I am worth words. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly on that one. But anyway, uh, four down. Uh, I'm making running is an anagram indicator there. So it's an anagram of I'm making and it's Michigan. I have some relatives in Michigan. I have never visited them there. Five down. Show solidarity with no slackers about. Show solidarity with no slackers about. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with it. I, I, I'm happy with this. Uh, it just took me a while to parse it. I think with that William Wordsworth one, it could be either I am Wordsworth or it could be the thousand for Roman numerals. I think you could stretch it to either, but I feel like M being the thousand is the stronger wordplay there. Five down. OK, I've got this one. A couple more seconds. Alchemist says it's an anagram. It is an anagram. Uh, the answer it's an anagram of no slackers. Um, I think that's quite a nice anagram indicator because it feels fairly natural because about is your anagram indicator here. Uh, so it's close ranks. If you show solidarity with someone or something, you close ranks with them and it's an anagram of no slackers. 11 across should start with S. Soldiers in street establish order. Soldiers in street establish order. Order. Okay, I'm going to have to check with the more knowledgeable of you on this one, but I think I know this, but I will I will check in a second. Yes, I thought that was quite a devious anagram indicator because it was a fairly natural looking one. Okay, I think so street is ST here. Catnip also says sort. I think it is sort. Can soldiers be OR? Um, if soldiers can be OR to establish order, you sort things. So that's fine. Um, so that'd be OR in ST. Um, establish order is going to be the definition here. So soldiers would be the OR. Um... But I don't know whether OR can mean soldiers. 
Um, so, bearing that the R may not be in my, not be correct, which is never a good start. Six down. Uh, employees seek opinions about Scottish town. Dogfish says OR for soldiers is fine. Okay, good, good. So that R is probably right. Employees. Okay, good. Thank you, Gene. Thank you, uh, JVT Twitch. Employees seek opinions about Scottish town. Hmm. I'm now just thinking of all the Scottish towns that I can. If you seek opinions, you ask. Uh, OR, other ranks in the Royal Marines, British Army, Royal Air Force. Those are personnel who are non-commissioned officers. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, feels like they kind of need a, a better term than other. But uh, they've they've probably had that term for so many years now they're not going to get anything else. Employees, seek companies. Oh, so all I can think of for Scottish towns are Perth. Because it's got to be quite a short Scottish town. I mean, Scottish Town could be the whole thing. Um, Scottish Town could well be the definition here. If you seek opinions, you canvass. But employees, they'd be like... Um, men. You have a potential other answer for 11. Oh, okay. Um, what is your other answer, we like shapes? Because if, if if that's a better other answer, that R could be wrong. Uh, the town could well be... Could well be air, A-Y-R. That's a good point. I'm going to put air in there just in case. Uh, soldiers, the t which would be the T-A. Uh, uh, I think it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't hold up to the definition side of things, but it does hold up to the wordplay there, we like shapes. I think... I think sort... Foxy Rhino thinks it's sort, so I think... It's a shame, because that fits the wordplay, the TA, the Territorial Army. But, okay, so, if we have... So, seek opinions. If you seek opinions, then we get... If you poll, and then you get the people who are your employees, it's your payroll! Woo! I'm quite happy with that one. That's, I quite like that one. Fourteen across. Old film star catches end of finger in mangle. Oh, don't do that. Old film star catches end of finger in mangle. Okay, end of finger definitely are there. So it's gonna. The art. This feels like the definition is the old film star, and I can't think of any old film stars beginning with G. Um, what is a mangle? A mangle is a press. Ah, uh, thank you, Catnip Fields. Yep, hold off a little on on the on the guesses whilst I I have a, an extra, a few for a few extra seconds, not much longer, but a few extra. It is garble. It is gable around B. I had it the other way around. So the old film, uh, old film star is Clark Gable. Uh, you put the end of finger in it and you get to mangle. Right. Let's have a look at. 12 across. I'm leaving three down because we didn't get anywhere with it. 12 across. More than one Trump enthusiast gets on. More than one Trump enthusiast get, enthusiast gets on. It's a free for all in the second one, but for but 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 um but hints only for the for the first for this first one. More than one Trump enthusiast gets on. Hmm. Could be this could be to do with bridge, of course. Could be to do with trumping in terms of bridge. Um Okay, hints now please. Um it's it's okay, catnip, you were hardly hardly misbehaving. Um more than what I mean, Trump think you'd be if if it was referring to Trump, then that would be something to do with Republicans, but MAGA, possibly gets on feels like gets on is it could be a double definition i feel like this is actually a def double definition hi shafki uh, i always want trump enthusiasts to do with farting <laughs> yes yes uh all i can think of is, the, is wind instruments now um 
but more than one implies it's going to be a plural and gets on if in the verb form probably is going to be ending yeah could, all could be ages could be not spotting anything there okay going to move to three down once again just to see if we can um if we can look at three down one observes contrary directions Oh right, so that would that would be east west, wouldn't it? East west with a couple of directions in Mozart's quartet. So that would be a viewer. Oh lovely. Uh, in German, four is wir, and Mo Mozart was Austrian German, something like that. So it's east west in wir to get someone who observes, which is a viewer. So that's not going to end um, ages or aces, but uh, Austrian. Hello, C Nightwing. Um, that's quite nice. Like that one. Um, let's have I don't know where to go next. Nine down. Let's try this big one. She wrote horrid music discordant. She wrote horrid music discordant. Oh, okay. Getting out my paper now. That's an anagram and a half. It's going to be an anagram of uh horrid music. So. And it's just a female author. Um, oh, Iris Murdoch. That is your anagram. So that was an anagram of horrid music, because discordant means is the anagram indicator there. Whoops, Daisy. Iris Murdoch. Okay, uh, so, uh, C Nightwing says 12 across is fanfares. More than one Trump enthusiast gets on. Why? Because more than one trumpet Trump enthusiast, okay, gets on. Trump is like a trumpet, yeah. Oh, it'd be the fair of a fan. Gets on a fair is a oh wow a fair pays for transport okay so an enthusiastic is a fan gets on other fairs and you can get fan fairs excellent um thirteen down oh how well did you get on how well did you fare I quite, I I slightly prefer that one but they both work thirteen down a fray with no one being charged a fray with no one being charged. Okay, I've got this one. Uh, wait for 15 seconds whilst I'll let you have a think about that. So this is a fray with no one being charged. So an affray, that's like some uh, fisticuffs or something like that. Uh, if no one is being charged, then no one is paying. In, in fact, it would be free. For all. Oh, I haven't had the didn't have the bottom of the grid in there. Uh, it'll be a free for all. So an affray, which is a bit of a fight or a kerfuffle, that's a free for all. Double definition. Fifteen across. Had an accident whilst jogging for sport in the Lake District. Had an accident when while jogging for sport in the Lake District. Ah, oh, that's lovely, lovely. Okay, yep, yeah, okay. Oh, th yep, yeah, th this one is quite nice. I have not been for a jog for about six weeks now, and um, um, I probably, I mean, the, the the five packets of biscuits I've got on my left hand side. Chocolate hot knobs, caramel digestives, cherry bakewell, di cherry bakewell digestives. What are they anyway? I, I got two back two packets of those and some custard creams. I like custard creams. I don't want to get any diseases, and I definitely won't get any diseases if I sit in and eat biscuits. Anyway, this is I. It, but anyway, I would not want to do this. Fell running. Uh, if you fell running, obviously that's an accident. And um, uh, jogging for sport in the Lake District. A fell. What is actually a fell? I don't actually know. Thank you very much, Gary, for the for the subscription. You're still a tart, but anyway, you are. But you are a lovely tart. Hi, GJ Mal. 
What is a fell? Uh, a fell is that a um, is that a hill or or something like that? It's lo local slang, for scar fell pike. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I just know it's a word, Dogfish. You're absolutely right. I don't know what it means, but I know it's a word. 16 down. Thank you very, very much, Gary. Once again, you are still a tart, though. Deliver one booze half-heartedly, taking too much time about it. Um, uh, it's a fell is a hill or a range of hills. Uh, thank you. Yes, I've learned more than seven cents for this stream now. Woot, woot. I like that. More biscuits. More biscuits for Dan. Sensei says, a fell is a high and barren landscape feature such as a mountain range or more covered hills. Okay. Right. Deliver one booze half-heartedly, taking too much time about it. So starts with L, eight letters. Feels like it probably ends in ing. Deliver one booze. So that one will probably be an I. Booze. Ale. Taking too much time about it. Half-heartedly. <laughs> Gary's ears picks up with booze. <laughs> um, right, hints, please. Uh, what? Hello, Cryptic Sunday. You have an idea but can't parse. Okay. Languishing is too long. Yeah, it kind of feel like the definition should be half-heartedly or taking too much time or something. Um, lager. Oh, okay. Yeah, lager. If you deliver, you lay. You... One booze half-heartedly could be B.O. Could also be every other letter or something like that. It's not, no, not really. As in half in the middle of it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You lag if you're taking too much time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes. Beer, if half-heartedly, if you take half the heart out of beer, that would be B-E-R. I like that. Um, but we're not, not finding, someone, someone had an idea, but they couldn't parse it. Uh, who was that? I think that was Cryptic Sunday. Have you got, um, so, um, so then, oh, wow. And then, thank you. Okay. So it's late. If you are taking too much time, you are late. And then it's one beer with beer being half-hearted. So you take out half the heart of that and you get liberate. And that's deliver. If you deliver something, you free something up. Thank you. Deliver from. Yeah. Okay. This is an unusual word. Uh, six letters ending F something. B. Chat about following in taxi. Chat, I mean, I must, know, I think I know what it is, but I'm just trying to parse it. He says I'm writing it down because I can't quite visualise it. Uh, chat about following. <laughs> oh, okay, clever. Okay, fine. Simple. Yep. Yeah, there aren't, there can't be many words ending F-A-B. Uh, prefab, as in prefab sprout. Uh, that's the only other word I can think of ending F something B. But... Thank you very much to Car in the chat. Uh, it is confab. And it's... Uh, a, so the answer, it means chat. A confab is a chat. Taxi is cab. And then in that we have about. If something's about, it's on. And following can be the letter F. So it's confab. 22 across. Four letters. Bustle can arouse. Bustle can arouse. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, uh, Savia Wanderer. Um, I need to play some uh, Ikoria on Magic the Gathering, but I can't get there yet. I need to uh, I need to complete the colour challenges, which uh, is a little frustrating. Um, but uh, yes, I'm looking forward to playing some Ikoria and making mutating some ridiculous monsters at some point on Magic the Gathering. Uh, I wish to play a lot more Magic the Gathering. Just need the time. 
bustle can arouse. Right, okay, Cryptic Sunday says this is a triple definition. Ooh. Uh, I, I, okay, is it stir, then? If you arouse something, you stir something, and a stir can be a bustle? But if, but then a can, how, how can can be, uh, it's not stir. Darn! I thought I was onto something, then. Um, if you arouse, you wake up. If it's a triple, then can also, also means this, a bustle. <laughs> Uh Oh, thank you, Scott. Just getting there. Uh bustle. Arouse is a poor synonym. Oh, it's the only one I could think funnily enough, I fixated on that. Um bustle. Bustle is a do it's Oh, can someone give me the first letter? Some first letter please, someone. Um hmm. All I can think of is stir at the moment, and it's that, that's that's completely mucked up my head. Um, bustle can arouse. Let's just move me up here, so hopefully I'm out of the way of things. Um, can someone give me the first letter? Just um, so. <laughs> um. Hoping for a small hint on this one, because with with double definitions, you can't really give hints. It's just a case of, oh, it's this. No first letters, you swines. Well, that's ruined my my Saturday afternoon. Let's go with 25 across then, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll get it. Uh, church dignitary that could make power tell. Church dignitary that could make power tell. Okay, I think I've got this. Not the best clue ever, if it is what I think it is. Read what Cryptic S said. It said bum. It said bum, and then I just I just thought you were being <laughs> going bum for no reason. <laughs> Interesting. I've, there's a hint there that I haven't spotted. I like hints like that. Oh, Scott, have you, Sensei, uh, have you got this? Oh, you've got 22 now. 25... Equals. Yes, uh, yes, good. You've confirmed this one for me. Right, so 25. Church dignitary. Uh, that's the definition here. That could make power tell. Power, that stands for P. Is that just because it's on buttons, like P for power? I know it's on buttons, but anyway. Uh, and then if you uh, if you tell, you re tell a story, you relate. And a prelate is some form of church dignitary. I couldn't tell you exactly which one. So that is prelate. 17 across. Oh, of course, in physics, it would be P for, for, for power in, in physical equations. Right, fair enough. I prefer my buttons. Um, define can in an obscure way. Able. Tin. <laughs> You've all got this and I haven't. Oh. oh dear, let's have a look at 17 down. Like bum. What? <laughs> I'm going to swear so hard internally when... Internally, of course, because this is Twitch and I would not want to fall, fall foul of the thing. Rhea. Rhea. Rear. So bum is rear end. What? Um, I don't get this. If if something arouses its head, it, it rears its head. Can bustle. Oh, rear up is aroused. I've got that. Bustle? Uh, how is it? Oh, the bustle of a skirt. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, swearing internally. Swearing internally. 17 down. Make better clothes available in Dior's business. Uh, make better clothes available in Dior's business. Now, I feel that'll actually read make better. That's your definition. Clothes. Oh, okay. Make better could clothe. 
a surround available in Dior's business. It's going to be something like that. You did try to tell me. I love, I love it. I love it when there's a cryptic clue that just makes you want to hit your face on the desk afterwards, which that very much was. Thank you, Cryptic Sunday. I think. Um, right. Make better. Ameliorate. Could be an anagram of Indiors. Or avail is available A? Is available A? Can that be one of those things? Um, no, because the E. Oh, good point. Thank you. Yeah, it's not an anagram. It's, um, what was Dior's first name? Christian Dior. He was French, so that could be important, like business in French or something like that. Um, something model rated could well be. Yes, that's a good point. Mod, mo model re. Model re. Oh Lord, twenty two A may not be right. <laughs> oh, someone thinks it might be stir. <laughs> oh, this will be hilarious. Um, okay. So, what are we thinking for seventeen down? Because I'm assuming it's seventeen down then. Um, okay, what? so let's have a look at 17 down and see if that ruins 22 down. If it's stir, then we have 17 down. Okay, go for it. Let me know what 17 down is, because I haven't got this. Uh, people are saying it's probably stir, so I'm going to put the T there. Posture. Okay. Make better clothes available. Posture. So why is it that? Um... So, make better, you would purify, it's not posture, okay. Make better clothes available, if you're available you're free. Couture, couture, thank you Mattel. Yes, you would cure, wouldn't you? Okay, so it's uh, cure um, and it's out, out. Clothes available. If you're available, you're out. Okay. In. Oh, no. Or you. Uh, how does that one work? I'm not... I'm, I'm going to put stir there. I'm slightly disappointed because bustle is um, is lovely <laughs> for rear. <laughs> but, but that's just a simple definition. Um, can is another word for prison, just like stir. Okay. Out in the shops, in it like available. Okay, yep, so out in cure. Right, how are we doing in terms of time? Are we going to hit the 45 minutes? Where are we? We are 33 minutes. Okay, 23 across. Boxing film featuring a programme of music popular in rural USA. Boxing film featuring a programme of music popular in rural USA. So, hold up on your guesses for just a few seconds whilst I mentally scream. Right, okay, and now, okay, a couple of people have got it, okay, cool. this is where I should have my headphones in, because I can hear a lorry going past, and I don't know whether you can hear that in the microphone, I don't think you can, this is good, right, okay, boxing film, that would be Rocky, that would have to be Rocky, wouldn't it? Rocky 3. Okay. So, Rock. I'm going to put Rock in. Is is Rocky going to be containing something here? Because it's going to feature a program. Is that right? We heard a district truck. Barely audible. Fair enough. Okay, putting the Y at the end. Rock. Rock something or other. A program... Of music. Um, that's why I can't see it because it's a. Why is the last letter? A uh, boxing film featuring a program of music that would be a set. Mm. Pop 
popular in rural USA. Mm. Music genre. Imagine the program of music at a festival. It'd be your set list. It would be your program. It would be your. Oh no no no! I I don't. Mm. List of artists line up. Um. You think Mattel has it? Rock a Billy. Yeah, the, the Bill. Okay, wow. So that's boxing film, Rocky, featuring a Bill. So that's a program of music. And then popular in Roy I say, Rockabilly. Nice, nice. I still think my favourite clue is Fell Running here. Uh, 20 across. Lower class gentleman producing blower in car. There's another fart reference. Hooray! Lower class gentleman producing blower in car. So lower class, that's going to be your D. I will get there in the end. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alchemist. I mean, Katnip, what you're basically spotting is that the British, we have all stiff upper lips, but in, in really, we are filthy beasts. We, uh, we, we love a good filthy joke. Gentleman would be a man or a chap producing blower. A blower is your phone. Um, in car. Oh, you know that I'm filthy. Oh, yes, but I'm speaking for absolutely the whole general public. Mm. I came up with an amazingly filthy clue recently for a um, private eye crossword, Simon. Uh, I will have to try it. I've forgotten it. I will have to try and remember it. It was amazingly filthy. Lower class gentleman. Producing blower in car. Car. Vehicle. Van. Carriage. Right. Is D here lower class? Because you've got A, B, C is the sort of the, the middle and upper classes and your D and E is your lower classes. I learnt last week. Learnt that on this stream, actually. A gentleman. Would that be a man? Um, would be a man and a chap or something like that? Um, a blower in a car could be A, C. Got it. Gentleman is crucial. Scott uh, Sensei does raise a good point. I have got many a question that I've written for just one point on Only Connect. I think I have a feeling there was one question I didn't get, and it was my own question. Mm. Uh, it's because there's, there's an up to two year gap in between writing the question and actually seeing it on screen. That's that's my. Excuse, okay. Blower in car is a definition, right? Horn? No. A blower in a car. D Mister. I've written a blooming pun about this recently in a quiz. D Mister. Oh, right. So it should be really lower class. Oh, double definition. Lovely. So a D E Mister would be a lower class gentleman. D E being the lower classes, so it would be a D E Mister producing a blower in a car. How's the time looking? That is a good point. Why I can't get it on the screen, I, screen, I don't know. 38 minutes. Should be able to do it. We want those points, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? 21 down. Spare silver coin collected in pool. Spare silver coin. So, what did I say coin? There's no coin there. Spare silver collected in pool. Okay, silver must be AG. Pool. Yeah, I just wanted coin. I don't know why. Uh, spare, silv. So spare. So we need a four letter word for pool. To put around silver to get spare. A mere is a pool. Why meagre then? Why meagre? Where's the... Where? Where's the... Why meagre? Does meagre mean spare? Yeah, I don't like it, Simon. Spare, very little. Spare can also mean poor. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Didn't, don't particularly like it. 24 down. Long sales talk with no pressure. <laughs> okay, I quite like this one. I Wait 15, 20 seconds and then I will give you the answer. Have I zoomed in? I have zoomed in. That's why. There we go. 
Yourselves talk is your common garden pitch, and if it has no pressure, which most sales talks do not, uh, you take off the P. P is pressure. Uh, so that'd be itch, and if you long for something, you itch. 26 cross. Support, supporting British in competition. Supporting British in competition. Supporting British in competition. Hmm. I feel like if you're supporting something, you're pro. But then I don't know. But I don't know how British then is a four letter word for C. Okay, there's a joke. Um, have an answer, but the second bit doesn't mean in competition. Okay. I mean, procure, no, British. What's your answer, Shafki? Uh, oh, could be the British. Uh, oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, the British... Could be a race, but then a competition could be a race as well. Um, uh, what could British be? Oh, thank you, everyone. Uh, bracing, B racing. Yeah, that's actually relatively simple. British can be B or BR. In this case, it's B. Uh, competition is racing. And if you're supporting, it's the support of brackets. Uh, yes, brackets or this table, for example, needs a better brace because it wobbles. Look, it wobbles. <sighs> anyway, 18 down, last clue and three minutes to solve it. Became friends with independent film director. Became friends with independent director. <laughs> yeah, it was not BR for British this time, just B. B. Foxy's got this good. Became friends with... Independent film director. Became friends. Now, for some reason, I want the independent film director to be Ang Lee. GJ Mail rates this clue as an eight and a half. And I, I know Gary, he's probably put a hint somewhere in there. For some reason, I want this to be Ang, like Ang Lee. And if you... Mm. Is it that? It's not him. Independent is part of the clue. Another diary. Okay, so independent. That will be I. Film director, just like Spielberg, Cameron. Uh, yeah, it feels like Ing at the end, but became friends with you meet. He's an Italian. This does not help my film knowledge. Um, ah, so Fellini, fe if you fell in, you'd become friends. And then I is Fellini. He's here, director. That feels... Yes, I think it is. I've got one minute to press this button. Submit puzzle. Here goes for 600 points. He directed eight and a half. I hate you, Gary. <laughs> 100%. Hooray! 600 points. Everyone applause yourself. Pat on the back.